Okay, friends, so today we will perform thaline dye test. It is a test that we uh, for testing phenols. So, how to perform thaline dye test? We take a pinch of phenol in a test tube. So, over here I am taking phenol. I have hydroquinone. Then to this phenolic compound we will add thalic acid or thalic anhydride. Now we will add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. and heat it. After heating, you will see a change in color. Now keep it aside to cool till then I am preparing another dye from alpha naphthol. So again I am performing, I am taking alpha naphthol. In this test, you don't need much quantity of compound. A, just a pinch of compound is sufficient. Then I will add thalic acid. A few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. Then we will heat it. And we see color changes. We keep it aside for cool. Now we come to the second step. That is now we will take this is prepared from hydroquinone. This is the alpha naphthol one, and some dyes I have prepared from before. This is of beta naphthol. And this is of salicylic acid. And this one is of the sorcinol. Now, in the second step, we add sodium hydroxide. To each one. First, we will add to hydroquinone one. And we see appearance of a violet color. Now we will add sodium hydrox hydroxide to alpha naphthol 1.
we get a dark green color. Now, let's add uh, to this beta naphthol one. Let's add a bit more. This is the beta naphthol. Now to the salicylic acid one. And there you see. This is with salicylic acid. A red color. With phenol you get a pink color of phenolphthalein. Now we add sodium hydroxide to our resorcinol 1. you get a fluorescent solution. Now, add this fluorescent solution into a beaker containing water. Add a few drops only. You can see that, that the solution is red. with a green fluorescence. Do you observe the red color? And now see the fluorescence. Green fluorescence. This is with resorcinol. Uh, I did not have phenol so I am showing you the color of phenolphthalein from the phenolphthalein indicator solution I had I will take few drops of phenolphthalein in the test tube and then add sodium hydroxide to it you see there is development of a pink color. This is the test of phenol. Now observe the color of the dyes we have prepared by adding in water. This is the salicylic acid one. You can see that the orange color is there or this is a red color instead. Uh, let's add more. In the camera it's orange but I can see it red. Observe that the Phenolphthalein solution has turned colorless. This is because at high pH, phenolphthalein becomes colorless. Colorless. At pH above 14, phenolphthalein turns again colorless, and it cannot be turned back to pink by acidifying it. Now I will pour beta naphthol to it.
this is beta naphthol 1 let's observe it has a light green color or a rather a dirty dirty green color we can say that the brown texture now this is alpha naphthol 1 green color now this is hydroquinone 1 on diluting the color has turned pink but in the test tube it's violet let's add sodium hydroxide to the solution in the beaker on adding sodium hydroxide solution has become purple this is the highly alkaline one let's pour all the solution I'm adding more NMH now observe its color can you see the violet color 